Let's get to the Jersey Central Newsmaker Hotline. I want to talk about uh, a couple of events that are coming up, including one later on in April, that involve our good friends from the New Jersey chapter of the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network. And uh, here with me with some details uh, on the Purple Light event that is coming up uh, later on in April. Uh, let's welcome back uh, from Pancan, New Jersey, Todd Cohen, who is here today. Todd, good morning. It's Burt Barron. How are you doing today? I am good. How are you? Good, good. Always good to hear from you, and and uh, and thanks for reaching out to uh, to set up the uh, segment for today. And before we talk about the Purple Light event that's coming up, uh, I know the last time we had you on uh, was right, I guess it was a day or two after uh, the game show host, Alex Trebek, had made this announcement about his uh, his fight with pancreatic cancer. And part of me feels bad, Todd, because all the attention nowadays on Jeopardy is about this guy who is playing now, and he wins $100,000 every day. And I felt bad because it's kind of taken a little bit of the, the spotlight and a little bit of the attention off the fight that Alex Trebek is going through now with his, his fight for pancreatic cancer. You feel the same way I do about that? I think when Alex Trebek made that public diagnosis, that did a lot for uh, the pancreatic cancer community. Um, this was the first real high-profile celebrity that was talking about pancreatic cancer and was getting pancreatic cancer out in the news uh, in the age of social media. Um, you think of the people like Steve Jobs. Uh, Patrick, Steve Jobs didn't really talk about it much. Uh, Patrick Swayze was really before the age of social media. When Alex Trebek was diagnosed, you heard uh, a lot of rumbling in social media. So that definitely got the word out. Um, and, you know, you're hoping that um, even despite the dire odds that Alex Trebek has, has to overcome, um, he could beat this thing. And that's why I'm doing the work I'm doing with the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network, and we have thousands of volunteers throughout the country that are doing the same thing, hoping to change the course of this disease. Yeah, and that's what it's about. It's about focusing on the events and the mission that's at hand here. And there's uh, a special event that is coming up later on this month. Uh, it is the annual Purple Light New Jersey event uh, that is going to be happening uh, in Warren again uh, coming up at the end of April. You want to share the details on that, Todd? Yeah, sure, absolutely. Uh, so Purple Light New Jersey will be Sunday, April 28th. Uh, and it will unite the community while raising awareness and support for the fight ag against pancreatic cancer. Uh, the event is going to take place at Camp Harmony in Warren, New Jersey. That's at 206 Mount Horeb Road in, in Warren. Um, the program will start around 5 p.m. We're telling people they can come and... and um, and, and, and come around 4 o'clock, uh, and you could register, and you do have to pre-register for this free event at purplelight.org. Uh, we're expecting about 100, 150 people. Um, it's a real special event um, where people can break glow sticks, purple glow sticks, for every time their loved one who has been diagnosed with pancreatic cancer or has passed from this terrible disease. Um, and by the end of the night, you see a, 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 um, a glowing ring of purple, and uh, that's uh, it's a real powerful event. So uh, we're asking people to come out and uh, and register for this for this event. Yeah, and uh, as a guy who's had the privilege uh, of being a part of this for the last couple of years, Todd, it, it gives me a chance to kind of meet some people and uh, some of the uh, people that have survived this uh, horrific disease. Uh, I'll get a chance to catch up with them, and uh, I'll meet family members, and it, it's really just sort of a special gathering gathering where everybody sort of has a bond. Everybody is there for a, a common reason, and it kind of brings people together and kind of reminds everybody of the importance of the mission here. And uh, I, I think for, for this year, Todd, uh, for this event, uh, we lost a member of, of our Pancan family recently, a guy who I had tremendous respect for. And I think just an opportunity to pay tribute to our, our friend Franco is going to mean a lot to me uh, later on this month. Yeah, and it's truly amazing the legacy that um, that Franco left. Um, this past weekend in New York City, they had Purple Stride in New York City, and there was a team, Friends of Franco, that his wife was leading. Uh, they raised, I think, over $20,000 for wow. this disease. And, and, and I can't imagine what's going to happen uh, for Purple Stride, which is our walk November 10th in Parsippany, uh, and registration's open for that as well. Uh, if you go to purplestride.com um, or .org, sorry. Um, but he, was, he just left such a lasting legacy for everything that he did, did for this organization. Um, he was one of two key volunteers we lost. Uh, Bruce Hill was another volunteer that did so much for this organization. So, you know, we, we, we need more volunteers. We need more people to advocate for a cure, and, and, and we will find an answer for this disease. I'm convinced of it in our, in our lifetimes. So uh, 
they say the, the the squeaky wheel gets the grease, and and you know yeah. we, we need that from a from a pancreatic cancer standpoint. Uh, the more people that talk about this disease. Um, the more action will be likely done by the the government and and by other parties as well in in, in raising money and and raising awareness. Yeah, and that's the importance of uh, another event that comes up in the middle of the year. Of course, we have we have Purple Light, we have Purple Stride, and then once a year, uh, Todd, you lead a group of, uh, of volunteers and, and people that are involved with the organization. You go to Washington every year and you get right in front of lawmakers. Uh, that happens every June, right? Yeah, it's a, it's a truly amazing event, and, and registration is still open for people that are interested uh, in coming to Washington, D.C. There's very few opportunities where you get to go face-to-face with actual congressmen um, and senators um, and, and House of Representatives, um, and that's June 25th. That's Advocacy Day. And if you can't participate, we still ask people to, to call in and tell um, their local politician that something needs to be done to change the course of this disease. Um, I know I'll be calling in. Uh, we'll be having hundreds of people from throughout the country representing uh, the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network. So you can, like I said, go to pancan.org and find out more information about that. All right, great stuff. Uh, Todd Cohen from the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network uh, of New Jersey. Uh, we'll see you again later on in April. And, and thank you for extending the privilege uh, to me to be able to host this event every year because it, it's really a special thing for me. And I've, I've had the, the opportunity to meet some really, really incredible and inspiring people. So uh, I'm looking forward to the event in April and and hopefully we'll have a good turnout and uh, I'm looking forward to that. So thank you again. Bert, we, we truly appreciate it on behalf of the more than 55,000 Americans who are going to be diagnosed this year. You know, we, we hope to find a cure and you're really doing a, a, a lot to help us uh, in terms of awareness and, and, and emceeing this event. So we are truly appreciative. All right, Todd. Uh, thank you for the kind words and uh, we'll see you in a couple weeks, my friend. All right. All right, I bid you a purple adieu. 